preachings of Jesus. But I wouldn't say preaching, prayer. And this was the last prayer he prayed before he departed. He said, Father, make them one. That's it. As we are one. Has that prayer been answered? No. So that means forget about the coming. So let's abolish the concept of rapture. Let's abolish this thing of heaven. Listen, I came from heaven this morning. So you've been deceived that you will go to heaven sometime, some way, someday Jesus will come and take you to heaven. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Welcome to the moment of truth. What you just heard Pastor John said is just completely the rot of Satan. Because the Bible says in the book of Revelation 12, 12, Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had, he had but a short time. Heaven is where you are already. The Bible says you're seated in the heavenly places in Christ far above principalities and powers. The scripture is quoted in Ephesians is a war, is a is a is a is, a, is, is for the warfare. It has nothing to do with uh, Jesus is not coming back. That's why I keep saying to you guys, know the Bible for yourself. The, 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 the scripture of the warfare is that you are seated in the heavenly places far above principalities and powers. So when the evil ones comes against you, they will know, they will not find you because you are not in their level. You are not in their level because you are a believer. You are a Christ carrier. So you are not in their level. You are seated high. You are higher above them. Your seat is higher above them. That's what the scripture is saying. But it's manipulating that scriptures now to tell them that because of that scripture, there's no heaven. Ha! Ah. Saints. Rapture is not about taking you out to heaven. If, what, heaven is not actually for you. Read the last book. There shall be new heaven and new earth. You're bouncing back to earth. We have heard so many preachers say Jesus is coming, right? Right? <laughs> Mark it. The next, your, in the next 50 years, <laughs> we'll be hearing the same thing. In the next 100 years, you'll be hearing the same thing. Mark my words. Jesus is not coming for a church in this condition. The church is sick. The church is divided. I'm actually glad that uh, he, he recognizes that and he mentioned it, that this church is sick, the church is divided. And that's all I've been telling you guys all this while. Don't believe in any of these men. They are confused. They don't even know where they are going. Jesus is coming back. He's not coming back for the sick church, like he said. But all these rubbish ones, he'll be taking them out one by one. He'll be disgracing them. He'll be messing them up. That's why he raised the bloggers to be flogging them. That's what Jesus was doing during his time. You know, you all heard it in, you read it in the Bible. That Jesus will go to the temple and we flood them and we tell them that my house is not the, my house, my father's house is not the house of lions of them where you will be buying and selling it's a house of prayers he will beat them he will destroy their things he will send them out and that's why he raised the bloggers now to be doing the same thing preacher number two he said father do, this is gonna break your heart now for those of you who are into rapture heaven thing he says father <laughs> do not take them out rather preserve them from the evil one heaven is not the gospel rapture is never the gospel well you know pastor john is like thomas when the other disciples in the book of John, John 20, 25, when the other disciples told Thomas that, ah, we've seen that Lord, he said he will not believe unless he saw, he see the nails, he the nails marks in his hand and put his finger where the nails were 
and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. That's Pastor John for you. But what happened? Jesus came back weeks later and um, Thomas rebooked himself. Let's, let, 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 let me respond to the other scripture that he just mentioned now about the prayer of Jesus to his disciples. You see how he manipulated that, that scriptures. You, you look at him, the way he was so deceptive. If you see this man and you think this man is normal, ah, I'm sorry for you. If you are in the church of this man, pack your things and go. This is the Antichrist. He is the one that also preached the other day. I've done a video about it. That said, Jesus has no power in my gene. So the scripture I just quoted is in John 17, 11. When Jesus was praying for his disciples, he was asking God to actually look after them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they, has, but they are still in the world. And I'm coming to you, only Father, protect them by the power of your name. The name you, have, you, you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. See the way that man... See the way he manipulated that scriptures now. That's why we the believer in Christ, if you are 100% in Christ, nothing will touch you. No power can touch you. So that's why you have to make God your only one. Make Jesus your only one. All these, your pastors, they have other gods. Majority of them, they are actually serving the, the gods of their fathers. They are all Babala was in suits. They have different, different gods. Until you talk about them, they will come for you at night. And they will tell you the kind of power that, is, that, that they are using that is protecting them. But if you are in Christ, they will bow down to the authority of Christ in you. That's what Jesus is saying. He's asking God, this world is evil. Jesus knows that this world is evil. Jesus knows that Satan is the father of this world. He's the God of this world. But we that belong to him, the light of Christ will be shining all over us. And no power, no principalities, no power of hell will have power over us. That's what he's saying. It has, no to, it has nothing to do with coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't let this man deceive you. Our Lord Jesus Christ is coming. But it's not coming for the, for the fake churches like this. For the church with wrinkles. For the divided church. For, for, for all these liars, pastors see, that is deceiving people here and there. He will take all of them out. Nobody knows when Jesus will come. Even Jesus himself does not know. Only the Father knows when he will come. Thank you, my people. I saw this. It breaks my heart. And this man is destroying a lot of lives. These pastors, they are causing damages, doing damages here and there. But we are here. We, the defender of faith, will be bringing the truth out there for people to see. Bye for now. See you in my next video. Bye.